find the slope if you're only given two points on that line. If you'll notice you're given two points, C, which is negative five and negative three, and D, which is two and one. Now, if you want to, you can plot it on a graph and then draw the triangle to measure what that, to figure out what that slope is. But there is an easier way. We're gonna use the formula, M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. We're gonna pick our points. Let's call this one point number one. Let's call this one point number two. What that means is as I zoom in, I have to tell them, well, this is going to be X1 and Y1. This is going to be X2 and Y2. So that's the X value of the first point and the Y value of the first point and the X value of the second point and the Y value of the second point. Let's start to calculate it. We are going to use this formula over here. M equals, first piece is Y2 and our Y2 is negative one. Positive one, my bad. A positive one. Now keep in mind that the formula right over here has a negative in it. I'm gonna put the negative for my formula. Then I'm gonna go over and look at what my Y1 is. And if you notice that Y1 also has a negative three in it. That negative also needs to be there. So I've got one negative from the formula and one negative because my point happened to be negative. Let's do the X's on the bottom. I'm starting with X2. So in this case, my X2 is two. I've got a negative from the formula. And then I want X1, which in this case also happens to be a negative. So that negative also has to be there. So I got two sets of double negatives. Watch for these. This is a common place where people make mistakes. So I hate dealing with double negatives. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite those. A negative times a negative gives me a positive. So my slope, that one stays the same. It doesn't change. Negative times a negative gives me a positive three. So I've got one plus three. And on the bottom, that two stays the same. I got a negative times a negative. So negative times negative is a positive. So on the bottom, I've got plus five. And from here, I can just do the math on that. One plus three equals four. Two plus five equals seven. The slope of this line is four sevenths. Let's do another example like that. Remember, M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Let's label our points. This is our uh, point E will be our first one. So that's X1 and Y1. F will be our second one. So that's X2 and Y2. If I go to start writing my formula down, M equals, now we start with Y2. So if I'm looking here, Y2 happens to be a six. M equals six. I'm gonna put a minus because my formula has a minus in it. Then I'm gonna put my Y1. And in this case, Y1 also has a negative in it. I guess I put my minus five. Next step on the bottom, I want X2. X2 happens to be an eight. So you do need to be very careful when you're putting these in. Make sure your signs are correct for what's in the formula. My formula has a negative. Now I go to look at x1. x1 equals positive 4. I don't have a double sign. 8 minus 4. Be careful. The most common mistakes are mistakes in sign. Let's deal with that double negative because I don't like playing with it. That 6 doesn't change. Negative times a negative gives me a positive 5. On the bottom, I've got 8 minus 4. I'm just going to leave those alone for now. Do them all in one step. 6 plus 5 gives me 11. 8 minus 4 gives me 4. Here, I've got a slope of 11 over 4. 
Be very careful to get those signs correct.